On September the 23rd, the 19th Asian Games opened in Hangzhou. This charming Chinese city is a place that succeeds in embracing 5,000 years of history while exuding a contemporary vibe. Join us to find out more about unique and fascinating Hangzhou. The city of Hangzhou, nestled among rolling hills and set around a tranquil lake, is a jewel on the landscape of East China. Yet, with the Grand Canal passing through it, this has for centuries also been a place of thriving commerce and industry. Marco Polo was moved to describe Hangzhou as the most beautiful and noble city in the world. For thousands of years, Hangzhou has attracted travelers from across China and around the world, inviting them to explore its allure. Writers and poets have been drawn to its mesmerizing waterways and verdant hills, while painters and calligraphers have found inspiration in its cloud-covered skies and moonlit nights. For tourists, Hangzhou offers a tranquil haven of peace and comfort. Westlake is Hangzhou's heart and soul. Its appeal undergoes a breathtaking transformation with each passing season. Chen is a renowned figure from the Shanghai School of Painting. In his work, he reveals a unique artistic style that preserves the essence of traditional culture while breaking through conventional artistic boundaries. My home in Hangzhou is a very good place. It has natural beauty, cultural beauty, cultural beauty, and cultural beauty together. Why是历朝的代人文大诗人都喜欢起舞呢?苏东坡有一句著名的诗嘛,水光颜色情方好,三色空蒙雨夜起。所以呢,这个西舞呢,它美就美在,你晴天也漂亮,下雨天也漂
还有一点这个城市的特点，有《白蛇传》的这个故事。这个《白蛇传》的故事呢，周恩来总理啊，过去啊，向世界各国啊，就讲了。他就等于是中国的朱丽叶跟罗密欧的故事。The literati and painters who, throughout history, have used their brushes and words to depict the ever-changing beauty of West Lake, its stories, and the spirit of each era, have endowed it with a unique cultural depth. And an Eastern artistic aesthetic. Today, by appreciating their poems and paintings, we can immerse ourselves in the emotions they evoke, the joy of exploring beauty, the bitter sweet farewells to friends, and the fervor of aspiration. Yet Westlake is not entirely a product of nature; it's also the result of the serendipitous unity of humans and nature. Originally, it was a shallow bay connected to the sea, which gradually evolved into the lake we know today through the accumulation of silt from river and sea currents, a process accelerated by the construction of dikes and embankments. Based on a deep-rooted belief in pursuing harmony with nature and adhering to its laws, successive generations carried out improvements that ultimately transformed Westlake into a well-designed reservoir serving irrigation and transport. Tang Dynasty Bai Ju Yi in the 9th century and Song Dynasty writer Su Dong Bo in the 11th century both played a key role in managing Westlake. Subsequent officials appointed to govern Hangzhou have also undertaken improvement projects, reflecting the wisdom of the Chinese people in ecological matters. Westlake today is a haven of crystal clear waters, lush vegetation, and a thriving bird population. As such, it is a showcase for China's development of ecological civilization. As if ignoring the passage of time. Today's West Lake remains serene and tranquil, ready to welcome those who can genuinely comprehend its essence. Just over 100 days before the start of the Hangzhou Asian Games, the medals were officially unveiled. Named Shan Shui, meaning lake and mountain, they were created by artist Zhang Junjie. He and his dedicated team toiled for over 600 days, refining the metal's design through more than 20 iterations. Zhang Junjie was born in Zhejiang Province and has called Hangzhou home for over two decades. In this time, he has developed a profound understanding of the city and its West Lake. 我们寻取了很多的意象，最后我们定位在湖山。那为什么呢？因为杭州它的最大的特点就是围绕西湖所展开的这样的一个文明。我们希望是全世界人都能够在很短的时间内能够认知到这样的一个杭州特色。所以我们选择了山和水啊、呃，尤其是水代表的是我们江南的这种文化和美学。而且水是共同语言，是我们全世界文化的一个渊源。The essence of Hangzhou's natural beauty is mountains and a serene lake. In capturing its landscape and unique urban charm within the confines of a metal surface, Zhang Junye and his team were faced with the intricate task of simplifying complexity. Another issue was the water. While mountains command a tangible presence, water remains ethereal and formless. Transforming formless water into a tangible representation was a formidable challenge. This is always a challenge. This 
稍微中间偏上的这个位置，嗯啊，这里设计三台音乐，嗯嗯，我们的灵感是来自于杭州良渚玉琮的外方内圆的一个形式，那么我们也希望通过这样的一个方圆相融的形式去体现美美与共和而不同的这样的一个理念。Jade zongs were ritual objects used as offerings to the gods. In their shape, they reflect the worldview of ancient Chinese cosmology, in which heaven was envisioned as a dome covering the square earth. The zong is emblematic of Liangzhu culture, which flourished in the Hangzhou area around 5,000 years ago. Discoveries made at the Liangzhou site point to the existence of a prehistoric rice cultivating urban civilization. In the Neolithic period, in 2019, a jewel was added to the crown of world culture. The archaeological ruins of Liangzhu City were included on the World Heritage List. At last, the world could see that Liangzhu culture represented not only a vivid testament to Chinese civilization, but also a shining example of progress of human civilization. By drawing their inspiration from the square and circular elements of traditional Chinese jade zong culture, the Shanshui team revolutionized the conventional design of the Asian Games medals. Further inspiration came from Chinese landscape painting, which led to another innovation. The Asian Games emblem was elevated from its traditional center location on the medal. This created the impression of the emblem hovering above the lake and mountains, like the moon. We opened it, opened it, opened it, let the Yang Yu Hui's emblem be integrated into our art exhibition, making it more open and welcoming. Another feature of the Shan Shui is the ribbon buckle, with its motif of the Gong Chen Bridge, an ancient stone bridge over the Grand Canal. The buckle exhibits two distinct textures, matte on the upper part and shiny below. This represents the bridge and its reflection, and also captures the essence of the numerous other bridges in the water towns south of the Yangtze. Historically, Hangzhou's prosperity has been closely linked to the Grand Canal. Situated at the waterway's southern end, the city evolved into a major regional commercial hub. Hangzhou's historical affluence is evident in the surviving poetry and prose. This wealth and prosperity laid the foundation for culture to flourish, which in turn became the bedrock on which Hangzhou's urban civilization was built. In Hangzhou, time seems to slow down. As you stroll amid the white walls and black tiles, sheltered by an oil paper umbrella, yet the city is also brimming with vitality. Hangzhou, despite its serene elegance, still manages to embrace the bustle and energy of modern urban life. It's a city where tranquility and vitality coexist. I was in 1916, when I started to play marathon. Because I didn't think I could run so far in my life. So I started to play marathon for my mother's influence. After playing a few marathons, I felt like I was trying to get up and get up. At first, it was 10 miles, then it was a marathon marathon. Then it was a marathon. 2016, to embrace the mountains and rivers that surround her. I really like this feeling of being close to nature. Hangzhou is very beautiful. 
就是整个环境特别好。就是有些时候在马路上跑啊，也也是感觉比较井然有序的，很安全，然后很漂亮，很美。对啊，有没有下大雨呢？哦，下大雨，是的，下大雨。然后，然后他们说风雨无阻啊，啊，只能起来跑了。接下来，桂花要开了，桂花，桂花开了，这个时候跑，跑起来更舒服啊。哦，他们说已经开了。好友们也围绕着西湖设计出非常多的路线，啊，比如说杭州大玫瑰啊，还有双玫瑰。双玫瑰就是有一些路越野的，真的是跑出花来了。因为我们跑，它不仅是同样的线路，可以跑出不同的配速，然后不同的距离。啊，还有就是这样，同样一个玫瑰花能跑出一百多公里，就是有非常多的创意。While Hangzhou's running enthusiasts trace the city's contours with their steps, another group with a specialized interest in niche culture is working diligently to resurrect its history. This is Zhang Chao. With a background in design, he has developed a range of interests. One of which is, is recreating cities in video games, whether it's modern urban landscapes or historic towns. We put Hangzhou into a game, so that the world can see this game through this game. So sometimes I also think, if I was the architect of this city, if I was the hand of God, then I would be able to make it. 我能够把杭州变成一个什么样子？所以我们就花了很长的时间，慢慢一一点一点的，把我心目当中的杭州，用一个虚拟的数字的形式，这样子慢慢的呈现出来。看那些南宋的那些画院的那些画，它是可以通过皇宫当中一个高楼，可以直接看到那个钱塘江上的潮水。所以我们就在这个皇宫内就做了一个小高小高楼，所以只是通过这些资料和意想吧，就是来复原这些环境。因为我从小其实出生在杭州，我生命当中绝大部分的时间都在杭州生活。其实我对杭州是有一种。非常深沉的爱。杭州是一个很有意思的地方，是因为它的性格的养成是，杭州几乎没有受到过任何战争的摧毁摧残，它的人民一直是在非常安居乐业的情况下面生活下来的，所以把那些有意思的东西几乎都原封不动地保留了下来。小时候就住在宝树山的对面，每天早上陪外公晨练，爬到出阳台往下俯瞰，就是断桥的美景。宋朝，大量的北方的中国人把面食带到杭州来。像片儿川这个名字呢，也是从那个时候开始。从那个时候的官话演变的杭州方言演化出来Since discovering the game Cities Skylines in 2017, Zhang Chao has been crafting a digital twin of Hangzhou. He calculates that he has already devoted between 10 and 20,000 hours to the project. The game publisher said, "Hey, we've never found anyone who can make the city of Hangzhou 
这么有意思。你能不能把这些城市的建设过程和前这个城市的样子做成一些视频，放到国际化的平台上，比如 YouTube 这样的平台上面？ As a famous city of history and culture, Hangzhou places great emphasis on the preservation of its ancient landmarks. Its urban planning is carefully thought out to strike a balance between conserving cultural heritage and encouraging commercial development. Hangzhou's traditional culture imbues it with enduring charm, while its modern economy infuses it with dynamism. In his digital recreation of Hangzhou, Zhang Chao endeavors not only to capture its physical layout. But also to amplify its blend of elegant charm and vital energy. Actually, 80% is based on existing plans, including roads, 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 Is also a forward-thinking modern metropolis. As early as 2005, it set itself the goal of becoming a smart city, making it a pioneer in China's digital urban development. Today, Hangzhou stands at the forefront of digital governance in China. In April 2016, Hangzhou launched City Brain. A digital system designed to transform itself into a smart city. A major success of the system is evident in the significant reduction in traffic congestion. Hangzhou 曾经的拥堵水平到达了就是淹死指数，基本上维持在二左右的水平。那么现在已经到一点五九，就说明我们杭州不仅仅在这个快速路、地铁网的这个施工。来缓解我们的这个城市拥堵，我们的城市大脑在调动我们的勤务啊，对我们管理上面的增效也是很强的。City Brain, through a comprehensive analysis of data from across Hangzhou's transport network, intelligently distributes public resources to optimize traffic flows. This minimizes the reliance on human intervention, resulting in time saving and improved efficiency. Furthermore, it promptly addresses any traffic information system issues, ensuring a seamless and more efficient urban transport experience. Hangzhou city brain is mainly used to use big data, machine learning, and artificial intelligence to build the basic infrastructure of the city. We combine government, government, and society data to combine and analyze. 实现对城市的精准分析、整体研判、协同指挥和科学治理。Hangzhou's city brain is constantly growing and evolving, and is extending its influence into the nooks and crannies of the city, from voice-activated directional traffic signs to unstaffed automated parking garages. From Asian Games-themed subway trains, equipped with smart display systems, to self-driving bus routes, intelligent technology is woven into the fabric of the city. Situated in Hangzhou's Yuhang District, Dreamtown is a hub for tech startups. It is one of many such towns in Zhejiang Province, designed to attract entrepreneurs. Within this vibrant community, Nick Mitchell, a renowned Canadian maker, operates a video technology company specializing in VR development. Welcome to China. Welcome to Dreamtown. In 2006, 18-year-old Nick Mitchell arrived in China, driven by a profound interest in Eastern art. He is presenting a VR adaptation of the classic Peking opera tale, "Lady Mu Guiying Takes Command," produced by the company. The thing about Peking opera, or any opera, or any theater in general, is it's only available to some people. You have to be in the right city, and you have to have money, often a lot of money, for a ticket. VR changes that. So through a VR experience, like through the Peking opera experience we made. Anybody anywhere in the world can put on a VR headset and have an experience better than the front row seat. 
And to me, that sharing of experiences is really exciting. For the past nine years, Dreamtown has been a hotbed of Internet Plus entrepreneurial activity. In this thriving community, audacious dreams take flight and aspiring entrepreneurs break through conventional boundaries to realize their visions. Dreamtown beckons the fearless and Nick Mitchell exemplifies this ethos. Leveraging technological innovation, he transcends cultural barriers and champions traditional Chinese culture from his own distinctive perspective. Dreamtown teams with kindred spirits who share his passion. In the past 15 years in China, I've seen advancements. And in technology, what's fascinating is the adoption of these advancements. Chinese people are hungry for new and better ways of doing things, which makes it a perfect place to do a tech startup. And is also really why I believe that here is where I'm gonna take what was a dream and I'm gonna make it reality. Hangzhou, a pioneer of the digital economy, a city of innovation, already a brightly shining star in the field of e-commerce. Yet for all the visible progress it has made, it's a city determined to evolve into a smart city. Right now, Hangzhou's three new economy, defined by new industries, new business formats and new business models, is already reaping the benefits. Added value now contributes 39% of the city's nearly 260 billion US dollars GDP in 2022. A ringing testimony to Hangzhou's energy and dynamism on the world stage. Hangzhou, whose story began five millennia ago, continues to record a new chapter in its evolution with each passing day. Here, as the future unfolds, it reveals an uncharted landscape, rich in promise and opportunity. Uniquely among the world's cities, Hangzhou presents a vivid tapestry woven from its illustrious past, dynamic present and boundless future.